Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello energetic learners, welcome back. Wish you a very blessed day from Dr. A. Vijayamudha Meri, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Very glad to meet you again in this video lecture. Today we are going to see a very interesting topic that is closest pair problem. So this problem we are going to solve by brute force approach. So here given if there are n points given in the plane, the objective is to find a pair with the smallest Euclidean distance between them. So the Euclidean distance is found out by using this formula square root of xi minus xj the whole square plus yi minus yj the whole square. So when brute force approach is used, all the pairs of points that is p and q are to be checked. So there will be n square comparisons. Here is the algorithm for finding the closest pair problem. So let us look at the algorithm. So here p is the list of points and initially we do not have any minimum distance. So let us have the minimum distance as infinity. We have two for loops here. The first for loop has index i which varies from 1 to n minus 1 and the second for loop has index j which varies from i plus 1 to n. So inside the nested for loops we are finding the Euclidean distance between two pairs of points. So that is square root of xi minus xj the whole square plus yi minus yj the whole square and the result is stored in a variable d. So now we are checking the condition, if the distance computed now, that is the Euclidean distance which is computed just now is less than the minimum distance, that is the minimum distance is already initialized to infinity. So if this distance is less than the previously initialized distance that is infinity, then update the minimum distance as d, i will be index 1 and j will be index 2, return the values of index 1 and index 2. So the algorithm is quite simple. So this algorithm computes all pairs of points. That is the initial value of i is 1. The initial value of j is i plus 1 which is 2. So it computes the distance between point 1 and 2 first. So in the second iteration, it computes the distance between the point 1 and 3, then 1 and 4 and so on. So this algorithm computes the distance between each and every pairs of points in the plane. So let us come to the analysis part here. So in this algorithm, the basic operation we are going to do is finding the square root. But for most integers, square roots are irrational numbers and that can be found only approximately. So it is advisable to avoid computing square roots in inside the loop and hence we ignore the square root function and compare the values just like that, that is xi minus xj the whole square plus yi minus yj the whole square. So we do this because the smaller a number, the smaller is square root. So it is uh, enough if we just compute the number itself, okay. So the basic com operation of the algorithm is just squaring a number in this algorithm. So the time complexity of the algorithm will be theta of n square because we have two for loops in the algorithm, each of the for loop will be executed n times. So the total time complexity will be theta of n square. So the best real time application of closest pair problem is in air traffic control, which is used to detect the planes that come closer together. So this may indicate a possible collusion and this is used to avoid collision. So this is the best real time application. So it is also used in many applications. So dear learners, thank you for listening this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Hope this video was interesting. Meet you again in the next video lecture. Thank you.